Hello friends, welcome to another video. This video is based on another Power BI community forum question. Uh, the question was, um, the user asked uh, on the forum, if there is a sales by ID, for example, a product ID or any other ID, and <clears throat> the user want to select an ID in a slicer and then show that selected ID as a line bar and all other IDs or product IDs on the bar chart. So basically want to have a straight line for the selected product ID and all other um, product IDs show the sales by bar chart. So basically so that you can compare how the selected product ID uh, sales is compared to the other product IDs. Uh, I created the similar thing uh, in my uh, sample data set where we will select a country. We will see a sales by country and then we will select a country in the slicer and based slicer, the selected country will be used as a line value and all other countries will be used as a, a, a values on the bar chart. So let's look how we can uh, look at Power BI, how we can achieve this. So here I have a a simple model where I just have the countries on x-axis and then the sales by country which is a sum of sales. Here I put a slicer as a single selection so that we pick a country and then we whatever the country we pick here that will be show that country sales will show as a line bar chart and uh, all other countries will show as in a bar chart. So let's start writing a measure and let's start actually uh, creating a a table for slicer and then start writing a measure. Uh, so if you look at this particular slicer, I already created a, 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 a table called country for slicer, which is just a taking a, a unique values from the geography country table. That's what the, where all the countries are. Just going back to the model here quickly. So what we have here is a, a geography is connected to customer. This is not a pure star scheme, it's a snowflake, uh, which is uh, not the, um, uh, the star schema is the right way to do it. But anyhow, in this particular model, we have a geography which is filtering customer and customer is filtering sales. And our country is in our geography table. So what I did is, as I said, I created a, a another table called country and uh, I call this country for slicer and uh, which gives us the unique uh, list of all the countries. So I use that particular country on the slicer right now here. And as you can see, because since this is not have any relationship with, with any of the other table, if I make a selection here, it does not do anything because it does not filter this uh, because of the relationship. So to make this selection work and to achieve uh, what we want to do here is, uh, we need to write few measures. So let's start with uh, writing the a, a first measure. Let's call this measure uh, maybe known selected country sales. So basically the country which is not selected in the slicer will, uh, this measure will give the sales of other countries. And uh, what we what we need to do here is we can it's pretty simple we can say okay what is a let's create a variable say selected country which will be selected value and that will be country for slicer and the country so this will give us what we have selected in our slicer and then we just uh, use this variable in our filter here so sales is a just simple sum of sales and then what we're going to do here is we say geography country is not equal to uh, selected country so basically give us the sales of uh, uh, not selected country so basically give this uh, sales of all other countries so will this measure work let's check this out so this is called no selected country sales i will put this measure on our bar chart here I'm going to remove the sales one and put known selected country sales here. So as you can see, uh, this is not 
working as expected we are getting all the bar with the same height and the reason behind that is because what we need to do is we need to par, uh, um, use keep filters to pass the row contacts to the filter contacts so what we need to do here is keep filters and then we will see the sales by each selected country so here you go so now what we have is so I selected United States here and as you can see the United States is not in the list here because uh, we said not equal to in, um, select, uh, selected country so that is returning the blank value and because it is returning the blank value and that's why we don't see that country here so if I select Germany for example and the United States now show up and Germany disappears so the first part of the problem we solved that now we are seeing the sales of the country uh, which uh, uh, sales of the countries uh, of the non selected country so this is working so now what we need to do is we need a another measure which will be uh, let's call it selected country sales so that should be pretty straightforward let's calculate sales so what we can use here is treat as why are we using t-test because we're gonna pass the filter from the selected country to our geography table and geography table is part of the model and it will filter uh, our fact table so what we can do here is values country four slices country so this will return what this will return values it will only return whatever the country is selected because this is a single uh, select uh, slicer so it will always return one single country as part of the value and then what we can do is uh, um, geography country so now if we use this uh, I, I picked up a, a, a line and stack column chart so if I use the selected country sales as part of my line values now this is showing us in a line value the selected country so it's a Canada that's what the sales is like if I pick Australia and uh, uh, now the Canada is shown up he uh, here Australia it doesn't show up a sales but it's still showing the bar for Australia this doesn't look uh, um, very good here because the country we selected it is it is returning the line value for that selected country and that's why it, we are showing it in an x-axis so how we can improve on this rather so we don't want the selected country to be shown on the x-axis because that is part of the line chart so what we can do here is go back to our selected country sales okay so what we need to do is we need to check in in this selected country sales if the select the non selected country sales has some value then only return uh, this calculation so how we can do that we can say if note is blank non selected country sales it means if the non selected country sale is not blank then run this uh, calculation so now if we see the United uh, the country which we selected United Kingdom is disappeared from our um, uh, x-axis so this line chart is now showing the uh, sales of the selected country which is in this case is United Kingdom and then we can also create a title which can say uh, uh, sales uh, UK versus other countries or we can we can put a title like that so France now what we are selecting so whatever country we are selecting and it is uh, giving um, the line bar of that selected country and the bar chart is for the other countries and just to make sure that how we can create the title uh, let me quickly walk through that so we can add another measure here title so let's call uh, what we call is so we call um, selected value country slicer country so that will Australia 
in this case because I've selected Australia and then versus other countries something like that so okay and then in this bar chart we can change the title to um, so go to format pane and go to title and then click FX and then here we instead of yeah sorry field value what we can do is uh, title that's the measure which we created click OK so now that measure that that will show up on Australia versus other countries so now if we pick Canada Canada versus other countries France and so forth so on Again, this is just a simple DAX, like how you can, um, with the disconnected tables, which we created a country table for the slicer, and then use that country table in the slicer, um, the value of that slicer, and uh, tweaked our measures. And um, with the tree test, we pass the filter uh, to our uh, geography table, which is part of the model, and, um, and everything is working as expected. Um, let me know what you think about this video. Uh, until next video, have a good day. Subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye for now.